A great man and a leader of the world once said, Men can never be happy if he does not nourish his soul as he does his own body. Interesting. Now, someone visited this great man once, and the man visiting complained of a lack of meaningfulness in his life. And yes, he had a successful career and a healthy family, but at the end of the day, he felt lonely and empty. This great man asked him, says, do you ever devote time to your souls? And the man answered, he said, how can I have time for my soul when I'm so consumed with work and family? And here's what this wise man told him. He said, there's an old saying that when two souls meet, it is two souls against one body. And because bodies are self-centered by nature, they cannot join forces. Each pursues its own physical needs. Souls, however, are selfless by nature. So when two people join forces, their souls converge. May I suggest, he said, that you and I resolve here and now to designate a time each day to study and pray and to do one additional good deed. This will nourish your soul and give focus and meaning to all that you do rather than you're being controlled by the random forces of your life. Isn't that interesting? Have you ever just burst into tears for no apparent reasons, finding yourself in deep sadness? Do you know where this comes from? Actually, from your soul. Your soul, at times, cries out, wanting to express itself. Now, you may say, I don't even know what my soul looks like or where it is. That may be true, but your body and your soul must work in harmony if you want true happiness. We all have to seek to become aware of our mission and actualize it by conducting our lives from minute to minute, from day to day, year to year, in accordance with what the Creator put in this world. That's really what life is all about. This is everything that we have to do. Your soul gives your life direction and unity. On the other hand, the material world, that is, the world of the body, is fragmented. It doesn't mean it is not good. It can be used for good things, but it can also be abused. If you were to observe your body's material drives during the course of the day, you would see it going around in circles or even in jagged bursts of desires. And it will pick whatever stimuli is in front of it. And the soul connects all these fragments. It connects what is trivial to what is paramount. Material and the spiritual coming together. It will give you the focus that you need. There was once a man who became a great leader later in life. When he was a young child, he was playing with a bunch of friends, a group of other children who were climbing a ladder. And all his friends were afraid to climb to the top, but he, he had no fear. Later, his grandfather asked him, he says, why were you not afraid to climb? And the others were. He says, because as they climbed, they kept looking down. But he said, they saw how high they were. And they were frightened. But me, as I climbed, I kept looking upward. I saw how low I was, and I was motivated to climb higher. And that's how you should look at your life. Always motivated. If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Facebook.